Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss shell and tube heat exchanger. So let's see. How it works and its construction. So the question is. What is shell and tube heat exchanger? Or write short note on shell and tube heat exchanger. So. Shell and tube heat exchanger is a tubular type of heat exchanger. It usually requires less materials of construction. And are consequently more economical. When compared to double pipe exchanges. Hence shell and tube exchanges can be used. When double pipe exchanges do not provide sufficient area for heat transfer. Then. Shell and tube heat exchanger made up of various component. The major components of this exchanger are Shell Tube Fronted head Rear end head Tube sheet Tie rods Baffles So shell and tube heat exchanger consist of A number of parallel tubes placed in a bundle And the ends of the tubes fixed in the tube sheets The tube bundle is enclosed in a cylindrical shell through which the second fluid flows. Hence shell and tube heat exchangers provide a large heat transfer area. So one fluid flows on the inside of the tubes. While the other fluid flow through. The space created between tubes and shell. That is outside the tubes or through the shell. The fluid flowing through the tubes is called the tube fluid or tube side fluid. Whereas the fluid flowing outside the tube is called the shell fluid or shell side fluid. These fluids are in thermal contact, but are physically separated by a metal wall of the tubes. Hence heat flows through the metal wall of the tubes from the hot fluid to the cold fluid. Then, there are vast industrial uses of shell and tube heat exchangers. These units are used to heat or cool process fluids, either through a single phase heat exchanger, or a two phase heat exchanger. So in single phase exchanges, both the tube side and shell side fluids remain in the same phase that they enter. In two phase exchanges like condensers and boilers, the shell side fluid is usually condensed to a liquid or heated to a gas. While the tube side fluid usually remains in the same phase. Thus when large heat transfer surfaces are required, usually shell and tube exchanges is the best option. So that's all about shell and tube heat exchanger. In the next video, we will discuss parts of shell and tube heat exchanger. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.